Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ve salatu ve salamu ala nebiyyina Muhammed Ve ala alihi ve ashabihi azmain uh, Dear brothers, today I will uh, discuss some of the important things uh, based on your syllabus from Unlock 1 uh, The name of the book is uh, Reading and Writing So I will focus on writing from your syllabus uh, from student's book, uh, page number 26. This uh, uh, will uh, teach you how to write information about you. This will not be only helpful to your exam, also it will help you in your practical life. For example, maybe after completing your program or course, you will go for a job. And in that job, you will be given a paper or a form to write information about you. So you have to know the correct way uh, how to write information about yourself. So uh, you see, this is uh, in this board, okay, uh, there are some items uh, what you need to fill. For example, uh, the first one is first thing. So what is first name? You have to understand, for example, that uh, first name means uh, the first word of your name. Okay? Uh, for example, maybe your name is uh, Muhammad Ali Shahiri. So the first name will be uh, Muhammad. This will be your first name, because this is the uh, first word of your name. This is called first name. Okay? Sometimes, some people use uh, their uh, name, for example, uh, maybe uh, in a family name in the beginning. Sometimes they do, but uh, I, I will show you uh, the simple way of writing first name, middle name, and family name. I will not go in detail of those things. Uh, second will come uh, middle name. What is middle name? In Arabic, it is called uh, Ism Wasat. For example, I told you, maybe someone's name is Muhammad Ali Shahri. So his middle Wasat name or middle name will be Ali. And family name will be Shari. Family name means uh, his, uh, I mean, the name uh, that has got everybody. For example, maybe Shahri, Kahatani, all these are called family name. For his case, Muhammad Ali, Shahri. Shahri will be his family name. Uh, sometimes some people may write their family name in the beginning, but uh, I will follow this structure, okay? First, first name, middle name, and then family name. Now, the number, point number four, what is date of birth? Date of birth, for example, when were you born? That means uh, in Arabic, maybe Molad, Tarikh Molad, right? Milad, yes. okay. For example, maybe you were born in uh, one, one, uh, for example, uh, 1998, for example. This is your, this is the day, this is the month, and this is the year that you were born. Uh, number five, city. City means where do you live? For example, you may live in Abha, you may live in Khamis Mushayit, you may live in Riyadh or Jeddah. So you have to write here, for example, maybe you live in Abha. So I will write here Abha. Uh, this is your city. Okay. Uh, point number six, country. Country means uh, uh, your uh, Dola, maybe in Arabic. Okay. Uh, for example, maybe you live in Saudi Arabia, so you can write KSA. Okay. K 
KSA, the elaborate form of KSA is Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Okay. Now, uh, point number seven is job. What is your job? As you are a student, your job will be a uh, student. So you can write student. Okay. So this is your job. Now, number eight, hobbies. Hobbies means uh, what do you like to do when you are free? During your free time, what do you like to do? For example, some people like reading, some people like writing, some people like traveling. So uh, it depends on your taste and choice. So for example, maybe your hobbies are reading, okay, and traveling. For example, uh, reading and writing. Reading and writing that you want to do uh, when you are free. Number nine, languages. Languages means uh, what are the languages that you speak? For example, being li um, a citizen of Saudi Arabia, uh, maybe you speak Arabic, Arabic, and maybe uh, also you can use English. Okay, so the these are the some information. Okay, that uh, you need to know how to write properly, and. Now, uh, before I conclude my lecture, I want to uh, give you a homework. For example, uh, I want that you write all this information regarding yourself uh, from number one to nine. And uh, this should be entirely your information. And after writing this information, please send it to my email. My email is bhuyan at kku.edu.sa. So I want this information regarding yourself in my email. And the email is bhuyan at kku.edu.sa. So, so I think this will help you to learn how to write information about you. Uh, OK, thank you very much. Inshallah, if you have any queries, you can let me know through my email. I will try to answer your questions. Thank you very much.